Okay, let me be real with the people. It's not looking good. So this is my dress that I managed to get in the shop. So we're gonna have a day. This is my perfect day. This is my nepo baby day. Do you know what I mean? If this, was, if I was a nepo baby, this would be my day. So hey, hey, party people! Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going thrifting. It's gonna be like a little bit of a vlog. I'm doing my last minute touch-ups. I'm just putting on some highlighter. But let me quickly tell you about the thrifting scene in London because I feel like a lot of people are not honest about it. We have two types of secondhand clothing shops. We have thrift shops and then we have charity shops. Thrift shops, there's not that many more are opening up. Usually they're all based in East London. They are rubbish. They are insanely overpriced. You usually don't find good stuff. It's more unwanted clothes like clothes you know them tracksuits that just make that noise things that a lot of people don't like right then you have charity shops charity shops are a lot better but it's so hard to find something good meaning you'll find a gem maybe like once every 10 15 times you go um especially for me i just do it locally however there's this other thing which i first went to maybe in like 2019 some instagram ad came up um, when Instagram ad knew my bank balance because right now I get advertised a bracelet I click on the bracelet. It is a 14,000 pound tennis bracelet. So what's that about? But anyways, it was this like secondhand clothing thing where they do pop-ups all over the country One was happening local to me. I went and I was blown away. It's like kilo sale style And you just go there. They have so many clothes so many good clothes as well things that you could genuinely wear unique pieces whatever it may be so that is what we're gonna do today this is my makeup i went very simple i haven't worn makeup literally in more than a month since ramadan has started um i'm wearing a very casual outfit because when i change i'm gonna go shopping after i need to get some stuff but whenever i go shopping i don't know about you guys but for me it's tiring like the changing rooms don't even have seats in them anymore by the time i've changed i'm huffing and puffing i'm gonna wear this jacket spring has sprung but has it you know it's that confusing weather where it's like a single layer can make or break your outfit it could either be too hot or too cold so i'm just gonna wear this jacket um let me just quickly check unfortunately for me when i brought my most recent duvet i brought a feather dock duvet and i've had that for ages the one that i brought this time the feathers leave each time the feathers leave so before i leave the house i've got to quickly scan and pick out little feathers for my jacket i'm also gonna go see so we're just gonna go we're gonna have a day this is my perfect day this is my nepo baby day do you know what i mean if this was, if i was a nepo baby this would be my day. So I'm going to catch you guys when I am in the streets. Oh. 24 hour CCTV recording is in Oppenheim. So this is how I finish my makeup. The next train to arrive at platform 4 will be. Okay, finally. So this is how I finish my makeup. I'm at the station now. It is so windy, like so windy, but. It's okay, my train is coming. Okay, let me be real with the people. It's not looking good. So, there's no tickets that are available on sale. It's in Notting Hill, which is such a lovely area. I need to come here a little bit more often. There's no tickets that are on sale. So hopefully by the time we get there, they let us in. <laughs> And if they don't, I'm going to be so annoyed because this is a little bit out from the area that I actually need to go shopping in. But we'll see. This is such a lovely area. There's just a really nice bird. I'm going to see if I can get it. No. Go away. I can't even see if you can see me though. I'm really testing how brave I am. So it was so much smaller than anticipated and I ended up getting one dress, this beautiful dress, but I don't know whether it fits me. So I'm gonna go to the shopping center because I need to do some shopping and then I'm gonna try it on in the changing room. But it was so much smaller, but it was also so much quieter. So I got to see everything. Had I come earlier in the morning, I think there would have been more things to get because I came there basically at 4 p.m. Thank God I didn't need a ticket. There wasn't even that many people there. But it's basically 4.30 and I'm just about finished. So, 
yeah i'm gonna go get some food now i'm actually starving i've forgotten to eat food for so long because i'm just so used to fasting so i don't know whether do i go find food here it's not really bakery time is it? it's like 4 p.m i'm probably just gonna go to westfield catch the train to westfield go to sushi dog eat first and foremost because i'm so hungry but this is such a lovely area guys let me show you this area this is where everyone goes to get their photos and then now some people have started filming <laughs> themselves opening the doors and stuff like that but this this is like the london everyone sees but it's not you know i mean london london this is the majority of it also such nice cars but i'll see you when i'm there okay another thing is i'm looking at my skin when i'm filming and i always break out in the exact same area it's definitely because of my period but you know whenever that happens i get this urge to just like buy so much new skincare and because i'm out i'm getting that urge but i need to know i know that i don't need to do that secondly my phone is the biggest up in the entire world so usually whenever i go out i vlog between my camera and my phone i'm not gonna lie to you i'm still a shy girl sometimes i get nervous but why was my phone just saying oh memory full memory full i deleted tiktok i deleted capcut i deleted everything and then now it's only finally decided to start working also i'm going past this thing which is a private garden in london in some of the really rich neighborhoods they have parks but only the people that live in that area are allowed to use that park like it's not a public park there's a key it's just insane like look how nice it looks tennis courts capitalism is crazy but let me catch the train i basically made it to my second home which is westfield one fun fact about me which is actually quite terrifying is i know where every single shop in westfield is like i should take a quiz there should be like a prize so the first thing i'm gonna do is wash my hands the the world is just grimy and although i carry sanitizer i need to just wash that stuff off first but yeah um and then i'm gonna go eat because i can't even think straight like my head is hurting me so bad so i just need to go get me something to eat and then i'll be fine and i'm in the mood to shop have given myself the ick so much secondhand embarrassment editing this the way i'm eating like i've never eaten in my life before this is big back activities no breath no nothing one bite after the other i am so embarrassed so this is the dress that i managed to get in the shop i'm gonna try on seven pounds so let's see how it looks Hopefully it fits. I didn't manage to try it on when I was there. So this is how it looks. I got this for seven pounds. If I was to wear it, I think I'm gonna wear it with a shirt, like a white shirt or some sort of shirt. I don't like this, but the bottom half is the nice part. I'm so happy it fits because if it didn't I wouldn't be able to send it back okay, nothing annoys me more than gaps when it comes to changing rooms like usually I get my bag and I put my bag in the corner so that way it holds it like this I was freaking changing and some girl just peeked in and I know it wasn't on purpose but I'm just like <laughs> I'm naked. I'm naked. Let me just make myself a little bit smaller. I'm back in my room. I'm back home. I can't lie to you guys. I'm absolutely exhausted. But let me just quickly show you guys the dress that I got. I know I showed it in the thing, but I'm just so happy with my purchase. But let me tell you something. This bag, okay? I thought paying for bags, I thought we were paying for plastic bags in order to help the environment, right? So when the plastic bag prices were creeping, 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 okay we're saving the earth i guess why are we paying for paper bags if paper can be recycled am i losing the plot here 50p for this bag it, is it me am i am i not understanding things or are we consistently getting taken a piss out of i just i don't understand i don't understand maybe i need to be educated i'm not too sure 
Anyway, this is the dress I literally just showed my mum. I can't wait to be a senorita siesta in the summertime. You know what I mean? Just so gorgeous. This is the part that got me. Like, the changing materials, the changing the colour. Like, for seven pounds? For seven, for seven, seven pounds. I'm just, like I said, I don't know if I made that video. I don't think I really, I don't think I released it. I don't think I published it. I was just wanting about like clothes and how I feel like we are getting taken the piss out of by so many of these high street brands because they give us rubbish quality, rubbish clothes. Nothing's new, nothing's innovative. Nothing is unique. And it's, and some, hey, hey, they're gonna call me, pick me, call me, pick me. Sometimes you just want to look a little bit different. Sometimes you want to wear beautiful article clothing and you leave the house and 17 people ain't got it on. I don't think that's pick me, do you know? But apparently that's pick me. But yes, absolutely love it. I don't know what the label is because I'm not absolutely wicked. Let's see what the label is. The label is real. I'm real. 16 in the Bronx. Maybe I'll like Google and see whether they have more of these. Made in Italia. Um... But yeah, and then the label on the inside, literally faded, says nothing. And that is it. I went to Sephora, right, because I've heard, I just wanted to see, I'm so happy. Can I just say one thing that I'm so happy about myself is that I never, ever blind buy items. I never blind buy items because everyone is, <gasps> Oh my god, like there's never been a candle to exist like this before. And you can fall into the trap of buying so many things A you don't need, but B buying things and had you felt and seen in real life you would have never purchased it. I came across these blushes. These viral blushes, I can't remember what brand they were. I touched it and I was like, oh my god. I would have been pissed. I would have been pissed. Had I brought this and, you know, just have to have it in my makeup bag, because I'm pretty sure you can't return makeup in the UK in the same way that you can in America. I had in America, you could use stuff and all of a sudden you don't like it, you could just give it back. That does not happen here. The second you open it, no one's taking it back. But yeah, I'm so... And secondly, the Sephora kids I thought was a, U, a US problem. Sephora is like 90% kids. And I'm not going to be those people that are part of the older generation that hates because I feel like people just hate on the younger generation's world too much. Where is the bread? That's what I want. Help me. Like, help me. Put something in my basket for me. In your basket for me. Because how are you guys affording this stuff? I really hope the parents, like, I hope they're doing okay. Because when I was younger and I asked for stuff, you think my mum would buy me a £30 foundation? I went to prom in a £2 foundation, LA Colours from Beauty Base that I bought myself after saving up my pocket money. Like, oh my goodness me, these well-off parents, adopt me. Adopt me and buy me some stuff. Get me some stuff in the Sephora sale. But anyways, that is all. I think my next video... Oh, I don't know what I'm going to film. Let me not say something because I've recorded loads of videos and just haven't put them up because... I'm not a perfectionist, they were just rubbish. Let me be honest. Um, and that is all. I am going to just relax. I feel like every single one of my muscles is so broke up. Yeah, broke up that I have to chill. So, um, me, a cup of tea. Netflix ain't got nothing on, so probably just some YouTube. But if you have made it to the end of this video, okay, I want you to know that i hope your life is amazing and i hope that you get everything that you want in this life and more and yeah what what yep yeah. leave a like comment and subscribe i always forget that and i will see you guys in my next video take care bye sit my stupid ass down bro what